Well, now, I never wanted to work on a train. It just seemed to all fall into place after I met Beak. I remember back in 61 when I first saw Beak. He's conducting his train, beautiful engine, which he called the General. Now, Beak's a self-made, hard-working man out on the tracks all day. And he pulled into Marietta, Georgia, midday, just about as pleased and proud as he could be. Now, I was hung over, sleeping by the tracks, and I saw Beak step out of that engine. And right on time, he says. And that crowd moving about, all the bustle, kept me from falling back asleep. I was so mad, but got curious, you know. Well, Beak walked out to the general store, and I watched some mustachioed Yankees climbing up to the engine. Thought at first they was just the train's next passengers. But they suspicious-like swarmed that car, climbed all aboard, and within a half hour of their stopping, the train was moving again. Now, this is mighty fast to turn a train around, especially for such a shrimpy conductor. So I ran over to the general store to hear what's going on. When B could just run out front, sure enough, and says, someone's stolen my train. As I was the closest one to him, I had to help. Can't pass by someone in need. So I ran after old Beak, followed him up the tracks on foot, crazy, you know. Well, Beak, he sees I'm the only one with him. And then he sees an old shed, railroad equipment. Sure enough, resourceful Beak pulls out a pump cart. And we go tearing up the track. But she soon jumps the track. And we's again on foot. But quick enough, Beak sees another train. Confederate camp had been keeping her, but they real excited, mighty glad for us to take her when they heard we was chasing Yankees. Well, both Beak and I, we run up to the engine and climb aboard. And them soldiers, they wanted to come too to chase them Yankees, but somebody disconnected their flat car. So again, it was just me and Beak. Mm, we trucked on, they's all waving at us, and we decided we could catch her up if we loaded her up with wood. The Yankees, they's up there pushing on just as confident as they could be as we put filling our boiler with big posts and trunks, and she's going faster and faster. Now, Beak, he's got so tired, he climbed out on the cow catcher to catch his breath. And then he sees the general right up ahead of us. Well, he got a little spooked and climbed back to the controls. But I just stood up mighty excited, climbed out, creeping to the edge of our cow catcher. I watched the general come closer and closer. And I'm just waiting, rocking there. And with no hesitation, you know, just jump over onto her. Well, I signaled to Beak, and he's mighty excited but stone-faced, and I climbed up and threw the emergency brake. Sure enough, those Yankees ran off, never knew what hood them. That was the start of many good years on the General with Beak. Not our last trouble with train-stealing Yankees, but... Those are stories for another time.